Lesson 16. Leisure to Fulfillment. Recognizing the Significance of Hobbies. If you speak to any psychologist, at some point, they'll emphasize the incredible significance of hobbies for your mental health, physical health, and overall well-being. When you're grappling with relationship issues and doubting your worth or position, it's your hobbies that offer solace. When you're under immense pressure at work and unsure if you can perform well, your hobbies are your go-to refuge. They won't betray your secrets, cancel plans, or abandon you when you need them the most. But what if you don't have any hobbies? How do they originate? How can you discover them? Or how can you regain them if you've lost them? The good news is that it's not as difficult as you might think. With just an hour of extra work, you're set to embark on this rewarding journey. In our previous session on mastery experiences, we explored the importance of utilizing past accomplishments to fuel our motivation. If we were able to excel in something before, we can certainly do it again. As you master one area of your life, your brain recognizes your capability and adapts to new challenges and diverse tasks, reducing the fear and embarrassment of merely starting something new. Hobbies can range from playing video games to listening to music or watching movies. However, for a hobby to enhance your confidence, it should be challenging and goal-oriented. Here are some hobbies that may be difficult at first, but will ultimately help build your confidence. Learning a new language, playing a musical instrument, engaging in board games, traveling, painting or drawing, fishing, crafting, crocheting, or embroidery collecting, cooking or baking, mountain biking, running, hiking, etc. Physical activities such as hiking, running, yoga, going to the gym, dancing, surfing, or playing tennis, anything that stimulates your body and releases dopamine. These examples are just the tip of the iceberg. There are countless hobbies that can challenge and inspire you. They may be uncomfortable initially, but that's precisely what we want. Comfort is tedious, and it's time to stir things up a bit. In Lev Vygotsky's theory of learning and development, he discusses the zone of proximal development, defined as the gap between what a learner can do without help and what they can achieve with the assistance of an expert. To reap the mental benefits of a hobby, you must find your zone of proximal development, what you cannot do independently. Thankfully, in today's world, you don't need to hire an expert to learn something. Platforms like YouTube offer endless resources for gardening, cooking, baking, photography, learning an instrument, and more. For activities like hunting, fishing, hiking, or dancing, consider joining local community groups where you can interact with people who can elevate your skill level. A hobby that pushes you into the zone of proximal development will breathe new life into your existence. It may be challenging and frustrating, but it will also be incredibly enjoyable. By engaging in hobbies regularly, Research consistently shows that individuals become more interesting and dynamic. Hobbies make it easier to strike up conversations, share experiences, and bring levity and knowledge to your interactions. When you have a hobby, you don't need to plan what to say in social situations. You've lived it, so discussing it comes naturally. For many, a symptom of low confidence is anxiety in social situations, making it difficult to form friendships and connect with groups. However, when you adopt a social hobby, you gain a built-in community where regular interactions with like-minded individuals create bonds and improve communication skills. As you connect with people in the group, you'll find it easier to form relationships outside of the hobby circle, and your overall mood will be enhanced. You'll be happier, more enthusiastic, and banish boredom from your life. Engaging in a hobby provides a sense of purpose and helps establish positive habits. There are countless benefits to participating in a hobby that challenges you, but perhaps the most rewarding is the sense of pride you'll feel. You know what it took to reach this point. Overcoming fear, finding time and space for the hobby, letting go of embarrassment, and accepting the initial struggle. That surge of pride is invaluable, and you deserve every bit of it. So, here's your friendly reminder that you need a hobby, something distinct from your partner and family life, something that challenges and excites you and something that is entirely and truly yours. Embrace the adventure and discover that perfect hobby today, and we'll see you back here tomorrow to discuss more strategies for enhancing your self-confidence. Remember that the journey of personal growth and self-improvement is an ongoing process, and every step, no matter how small, is a move in the right direction. When you push yourself beyond your comfort zone and engage in activities that challenge you, you're actively building your confidence and shaping your life into one filled with passion, excitement, and fulfillment. Don't shy away from the unfamiliar, for it's in these moments of uncertainty that we often discover our true potential and redefine our sense of self.